a lot of people like don't know this, but I've been doing art since like I was little, like since I was like 13. So, you know, I couldn't see myself doing anything else but art. Art is my life, my hobby. Um, I started when I was 18. And I like my work, when I do my work, I'm proud of it. I tell everyone that talks to me, art is my bag. As art instructors, we try to understand what they're really passionate about, like what they enjoy to do the most, and then we try to turn that into like an art piece. Was that a, a Dodgers? Are you a big fan of the Dodgers? Yeah, I like baseball. When she first started coming here, um, she wasn't sure on what kind of art project she wanted to work on, whether it was painting or collage. She really started to take a take an interest in doing collages and in, in, an interest in pop culture and celebrities. You had to, uh, to cut the pictures and you glue it. You put it right here in the box. And she's been working on this project for about a year, and so she has lots of boxes. The idea now is to stack them in different shapes to create a whole cityscape of all these celebrities and iconic images of um, you know different people throughout history. So we'll be excited to see this um, in a show soon to kind of um, complete the complete the idea to finish it off. You know I like coming here because it's a good place to come. You know people bond well with each other and you know, and we make lots of art. This is just like snake in a pot, like. <laughs> uh, but no, I don't have a name for them. Um, when you work with ceramics, you actually work more with your hands than you do with anything else. So that makes me feel better because I was like, okay, this is something that I made, not just like doing by pencil or paintbrush. Like your own hands actually like make the creations. Uh, Antoine, I looked at his and he was he's really into uh, kind of like flames and, and things of motion and kind of like precariousness of things, you know? And so he comes up with these elaborate ideas like the rocket ship, the tornado, the pyramid, and uh, I just try to figure out a way that he's able to do it. My teacher, David, he like molded me, but he didn't really mold me a lot, but he just like lets me just do my own thing. He constructs on his own. And he had, like, that's hard to do at any level ceramics, like attaching a thin leg, you know, and stuff, so. Um, but he comes up with an idea, like the flame piece of the snakes, and he, like, he sees it through. And we try to find out what the individuals are interested in and, you know, direct their work around their own personal interest. Juan Pierre's work, he's doing the large canvases, and those have, uh, like, kind of comical imagery with, with words that come from his own personal lifestyle, things that he likes. That's all like Corvette it's, uh, oriented. Corvette, the words right here, and everything. The songs, music, everything. The painting, or the... No, it's just a, it's a friend. Marvin, Daniel, Kevin, Jeff. Ryan, John, Nicole, Lupita. He gets most of the ideas from um, different books he brings from home. Uh, everything, like a dictionary. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, and Beatles, like more Beatles. This is, um, this is um, John, John, Marlon, Ringo, George, the Paul, and 24 guys. It was a group called Led Zeppelin that did Stairway to Heaven. I kept hearing the song, so I decided to do this in art. Think of it as stair Stairs to Paradise, exploring the, the, the feature to that. So it takes slow work, patience, understanding. Here you have a piece here. And then there we go, and then we have it like this and then you have then you have a piece so that's how I do it 
and I'm and proud you, of doing it. How do you decide the shapes? Look at something. I have to look at a picture and stuff. Then figure out how, how I want it. I cut them out and, and put my hands in there and turn them around and make them curve. You want me to roll out some more clay for you? Yeah. Tell them why I roll out for you. Because I got nails on. <laughs> Not just nails, you have nails. one of these different glazes she she combines different colors to do these effects that was that was actually caused because Gianna experiments with the glazes she double layered the glaze and then we reglazed it and we got this happy accident so she has the eye she does have the eye for it it's been a lot of work isn't it I'm like I'm pretty impressed by it there's people who have master thesis show when I was in graduate school that don't do this much work you know or, or, or this dedicated to it so I'm pretty proud of them First ceramic show coming up. Raman's pieces are going to be in there. He's doing these. What did you call them, Raman? Uh, glazing. No. What do you call your your sculptures? Oh, uh, this is a mountain. For a while, they were dinosaur cups. A dinosaur and cup. Volcanoes and Volcano. mountains. So we've got a lot of them over Money. here. Still some of them drying in the kiln. So uh, I'm painting a pot, you know, with glaze. All the way down here, right here. Make sure you keep stirring it too. Let me show you. Yeah. Okay. You gotta stir it. Yeah. I... We'll flip it over when you cover all of those cracks. This I made out of balls, you know. With, uh, you know, I did it with balls, you know, and I, and I, uh, I did it with this, this comb. You know, you scratch the sides off, you know, and then, and then. And then you put these parts together. My brother and my niece, they came to the exhibition to see one of my, one of my, my job, my paintings. They came to see my painting and they liked it. They, they said it was good, you know. The exhibitions kind of complete the, the cycle of making art. To have the exhibition, to it's see like it on like, you know, the wall. In a gallery, and, yeah. yeah, and have people come in for an opening. It's like, it's part of that whole mythology of being an artist. And it, I think it gives them a sense of identity that perhaps they didn't, they didn't have before, and a sense of purpose.